No, we really have an ideal group of panelists here today to provide their perspective on the CNCF Ambassador Program. Um, we have Monica, who is in her first year of the, uh, as an ambassador. Daniel's been in the program over seven years now, and... Yes, it is. <laughs> and Divya is a recent ambassador emeritus after four years in the program. But instead of focusing on the criteria, oh, sorry, instead of focusing on the criteria uh, for becoming an ambassador, we'll have that basic information up on the screen as we're chatting. I'd really like to focus our discussion today on both the personal and professional value that each of you have received as, from participating in the program. So I've prepared three questions. I'll ask uh, each question to each of you, and I'm going to start with Divya. Yep. So, what inspired you to become a CNCF ambassador, and what does the role mean to you personally? That's a very good question, and unfortunately, I have a very cliched and boring answer to this, and it's probably not very profound. I was motivated to join the program because pretty much everyone that I was working with in the Kubernetes project uh, at that point in time, which is be one of the cohort where Daniel was also there, was also a CNCF ambassador. Basically, the short and sweet answer is I had a huge, huge case of fear of missing out, and I did not want to be left behind. And I basically said, hey, let's see if there's an opportunity where I can build a more deeper connection with these people and bond on a more deeper level and collaborate in the open in a much better fashion. So there you have it. Nothing profound, really. Oh, that's excellent. Thank you. Daniel? Yeah, so pretty much the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, my journey to becoming a CNCP ambassador uh, was inspired by like a deepening understanding people rather than like a CNCF of technology. But also I really love to uh, understand and learn some open source and cloud native technology and also contributor, like a community as well. So I think uh, the being ambassador is not just title, it's more like a commitment, which means uh, the being ambassador is unlock the door and they connect to people and technology. It's like some kind of bridge between and people, technology, and try to understand them and uh, help them, encourage people, make a better life, and make a better, uh, like uh, some uh, community, community and contribution back to the open source. Monica? Yeah, so for me, it's a little different. So it was uh, April 2023. I boarded a bus uh, to the mountains, to the monasteries, and uh, so what happened uh, that day is, uh, I, so that was my first time. I was seeing the, the, these huge mountains with the snow and all. So I was so happy that day. And the next moment, I got a message from my employer that, Monica, you don't have to work from tomorrow. I was like, OK. And then one question hit me really, really hard, that who am I, who is Monica, without that job title? So. That day I realized, uh, like I was working really hard, I was working with the best people, but I was not, you know, really sharing my knowledge to the community, to the world, and that, that really hit me hard, and from that, that day I realized, okay, I have to share my knowledge. So from that day I was sharing my knowledge to the community and to the people and to the world, and uh, so I realized that thing, uh, learning is not just about you are just keeping that within it just yourself, it's just about sharing that knowledge to the world because that's very important. So yeah, Excellent. and then I, yeah, in within just a month, I became ambassador and here I am. Excellent, thank you. We're happy to have you. Divya, what's one unexpected way being part of the CNCF ambassador community has helped you grow either prefer, uh, personally, professionally, or technically? Um, so, with equal props to the hard work that I've put in, I'm not discounting that, but uh, the community has been extremely instrumental in sort of my transition from a previous systems engineer slash project lead to who I am today, an open source advocate. 
And um, that is through the surfacing of uh, latent capabilities and skills that were really not required in my previous role, um, such as outreach, um, our community building, uh, advocacy, because as an engineer, you don't really need those things um, in your day job. So the community and the interactions that I've had with the community helped to surface those capabilities. And um, lo and behold, uh, it also helped me um, you know, firm, uh, become more firm about my conviction um, in the open source ecosystem. Because once you're part of it, you really do begin to see the benefits of working in an open and collaborative manner. And you do see that in the climate that we are in today, open source is truly the best way forward for us to flourish as an industry. Great. Great. Thank you. Daniel? Yeah. So first of all, that's a really great question. And then I got to ask the same question a lot of time from many maintainer and contributor, even if you're like a developer and a platform engineer, how do I get to becoming CNCF ambassador and what is the best benefit from there? So uh, one is unexpected, but uh, a great rewarding way uh, part of the CNCF community uh, has helped me in growing is by like sharpening my ability. So for example, so whenever I go to the great conference just like here, like a QCon India and among others, and I got a great talk and technical session, reading workshop, and then writing blog post and like uh, mentoring people, it always give me the great opportunity and chance to meet a lot of brilliant people like you, developer, business, um, uh, like an uh, uh, engineer and among others. It always uh, uh, push you back to me and then uh, make some great opportunity become better storyteller, listener, and like a contributor as well. So I don't need to be expected at all when I first time joined this CNCF community. So that is one unexpected way to keep me uh, growing every single day as a part of the uh, CNCF community. I'm super be part of the, uh, this kind of stuff. Thank you. Monica. Yeah, of course, like CNCF gives you a lot. So there's a no doubt in it. But for me, the one thing that really changed is that uh, uh, how you can, you know, simplify the complex technology. That is uh, really, I, I really learned from the CNCF. So I remember a call with uh, one of my clients. He said, Monica, you are so active in the cloud native community, right? But can you just tell us how we can also adopt this technology in our project? Then I was like, OK, now I have to you know, step away from uh, uh, these tech jargons. And now I have to just really connect the dots. Then I was like, OK, just think about uh, our data pipelines as a train, right? If right now, if one thing just breaks, then whole thing will stop. Now Kubernetes comes. So if we will use the Kubernetes, then uh, you can just, can, can just build the smartest train. And uh, you can just scale it. You can just fix it. And uh, yeah, and everything will run automatically. So that is the best way. So from that day, it, it went really well. And now I'm a good engineer and a good communicator. And also client really looking forward uh, how I can just lead the ways, not just uh, delivering the things. So it's more about how you, like it's not just about, uh, about learning the technology. The thing that matter is why the technologies matter. So that is very important. Yeah. Fabulous. Thank you. Divya, cool. what's one or two things that you love most about being an ambassador? Uh, so I'm going to digress a little bit before getting to the point on this one. And this is pretty on brand for me if you've ever spoken to me anywhere. I ramble before I get to the point. But um, honestly speaking, when I started contributing regularly to the CNCF ecosystem and, of course, becoming a part of the ambassador program, um, anybody I reached out to and sought mentorship from in terms of asking questions or you know, learning how to navigate my journey further, one thing consistently was said to me all the time, in open source, you never ever pay back the person who helped you, but you always pay it forward for the future generations of contributors. 
And uh, coming from a capitalist society, like pretty much everyone here, um, honestly speaking, that's a lot to wrap your head around because if we actually function on that principle, you wouldn't have any food in your kitchen cabinet or you wouldn't have any luxury goods or services, really. Um, so it was very tough for me to wrap my head around that concept, but as I sit on the stage today, I realize the actual uh, meaning behind that because um, in open source, the whole uh, culture is of duocracy, something pretty much everyone has echoed on the stage here and in the events yesterday. So um, a lot of it is because of the goodwill of contributors who are seated in the audience and who are probably going to attend the next couple of days. And um, given that, um, ambassadorship to me has been, you know, through the surfacing of latent capabilities, I've been able to give it back to these contributors, whether it's through the co-creation of, um, you know, one of the first associate level certifications with Chris uh, Gfi here, I don't know where he is, but Gfi and uh, Katie, who's not here, but uh, also becoming a maintainer, um, I've been able to pave the way um, and been honored to do so for future generations of contributors. And that's what ambassadorship means to me personally, uh, because I get to do that um, on a regular basis, even without actually being an ambassador today um, and not having that tag, because you, sh you should continue doing what you love, and that's important. Excellent. Thank you. Good. Daniel. Only two things. <laughs> <laughs> I actually enjoy every single moment. So uh, I would say two things. As not only CNC investor, my premier job developer advocate. So I'm, I would say I'm gonna do love to uh, build uh, open global connections. You know, so CNCF community is incredibly diverse. So as being ambassador, you can open the door and connect to a lot of great people around the world, just like today. And then it allows me always. Uh, 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 learn something new from them, like a developer, architect, platform engineer, AI engineer, among others. And it's not only just to understand how a cloud neighbor project, it's more about why and how people actually adopt that technology and shape the future of cloud na native technology altogether. So that is the first thing I love to do, enjoy by myself. And the second of all, probably, like a, uh, I want to advocate uh, open source and open like collaborations. So yeah, so I'm really passionate to uh, sharing my knowledge and my expertise, but also I'm pretty sure a lot of people actually would love to do the same thing. And then the CNCF ambassador and community, and you can uh, you can always be part of that, and not only be ambassador, you can actually join any kind of. A community activity. For example, I'm leading as a co-chair the new tech for developer experience. You can join us and then you can share your idea of how to make a developer make a better life with the CNCF project tools and experience. So that is uh, my second double things. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, so I really love what Divya and Daniel said. So for me, uh, yeah, of course, I'll just put in uh, three things that I really think. Uh, that uh, uh, as an ambassador I got. So the first thing is uh, visibility and the trust. So as an ambassador, you get the access of one lakh people, and that's a huge number. So that means you have the opportunity to talk to those one lakh people, and that's a very big thing. And the second one is global visibility, like you just said, Daniel. So just imagine, guys, uh, your one post, your one podcast, your one tech talk is not just limited to your local events or meetups. It is now accessible internationally. Your content is international, right? So this is what we got from the CNCF. And the third thing, so you won't believe uh, I was someone who really, really scra like scared from public speaking, and I never spoke in my college, not in my school, and CNC have given me this opportunity, this space, this big stage, and I'm sitting here with the brightest people right now and talking without any fear and without any judgment, and that's really important for me, and thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. You're most welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Thank you all. As you heard uh, Chris earlier during the, the opening keynote that there are over 40 ambassadors across India, but we're always happy to have more. And please feel free to stop and speak with any ambassadors and ask questions about the program um, over the next couple days. You can identify them by a red ambassador ribbon at the, uh, beneath their badge, like the one that Monica's wearing. If you don't have a ribbon and you're an ambassador, please come see me and I will give you one. And thank you all for your participation today, for being past and present ambassadors, and for all you do for CNCF. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Thank you so much. Thank you.